So we're hanging out in the Bay of Turnic, Buku, just outside of Marmaris. And it's a beautiful little fishing village. And we are back tied to some rocks. And on the rocks, there is a man who is... Totally naked. And sitting a little bit spread eagle. He's sitting in a place where nobody from the beach could see him, but unfortunately for us, he doesn't have privacy. And the kids can't get over it. And he's right... No, 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 I can't show that. We have to be censored. What do you think of the naked man, Escher? <laughs> Sophia, what do you think of the naked man? No comments. Walking to town from the Albatross Marina, and I'm a little nervous because I just committed us to buying a bowsprit and a new sail, an asymmetrical spinnaker, which is not su supremely useful in the Mediterranean, but would be kind of integral in a Atlantic crossing. Spending approximately 10 grand on all the gear, rigging, sail, bowsprit may be foolish if in two months. We have a problem with our mainstay. The other problem is that it's committing us to spending another month in Turkey. I wish I had started this process three weeks ago. Now we're ready to commit and it's been their busiest season in making all this gear, so it's a one month lead time. And in Turkish time, that's probably five weeks or six weeks in all reality. Okay, so we have just returned from our shakeout tour. That we discovered lots of little things that need a little bit of attention and love. So we are back in Marmaris because this really is the best place in the area to get all this work done. Today we're getting our bowsprit put on, which was planned, but probably everything that we've added needs a little bit of tweaking, which is to be expected, but it can be a bit of a frustrating process. Um, a couple of things we need to do is we realized we need to add another solar panel our anchor chain is skipping and we aren't exactly sure why and then the bracket while we were gone broke the weld broke so because of the new anchor so, so we'll have to take that into town and get it rewelded hopefully going to pick up our sail which we need some measurements bow with the bowsprit just lots and lots of little projects that can kind of be done as we go so we have quite a few appointments lined up and hopefully we'll get these all worked out because we're really ready to start heading west look what's up i got four Fish Lear from the Tooth Fairy. Cool. And I'm gonna go to the market and buy something. Cool. Okay, we're watching now because they're actually putting the bowsprit into place. With the bowsprit install complete, we moved out to anchor for the night. 
Sunday night, so hopefully the, the dance music noise coming off the city won't be too crazy tonight. But um, it's kind of fun being right in the city. This evening, we're planning on having a movie night on the trampoline. The kids have set up and it's a very cool backdrop for having movie night. The next day we moved out to Marmaris Yacht Marine and had Barish from UK Sailmakers come back out to do the final measurements for our Jennifer. So we've got Barish on the bowsprit measuring and with that line going up you can kind of see where the new sail will sit. Ready? Up. Up the mast again. This time I used the downhaul so I could go all the way to the top. And I'm uh, putting on a new shackle. I was told the survey that the old shackle was uh, probably not the best. So I got a new one. It's a little longer so it fits up tighter and it's a uh, higher weight rating. So it should be able to handle more stress. While I'm up here, I've got an incredible view. In the background, you can see Marmaris and uh, I'm having fun. After the final measurements were completed and we got all the orders in for the various things that needed tweaking, we took a few days to tour around different areas in Marmaris. So, we somehow walked into the pet store to get flea and tick medicine and I'm buying a spear gun. So the price seemed reasonable. I don't know anything about spear fishing at all. It's kind of a beginner sport gun. But once we talked through it, it sounded like something I could take on. I've seen lots of guys doing it around our anchorages, so I don't think there's any restrictions on it. I love snorkeling, so I feel comfortable in the water. I'm going to have to learn about the fish. Oh, and it even comes with a pouch. That's awesome. It seems to be a decent beginner gun. You want to put that on? I'm not sure if I like my 10 year old walking through the streets of Turkey with a sniper bag, bag containing a spear gun in it. That is the name of the gun. That's the name of the gun. having to paddle to shore to walk the dog. Jax, what do you think, pup? Do you like this morning routine? Step two in the process, find a place to dock the dinghy. Right here, I'm on a nice sandy beach. Right now, we're in front of some nice hotels, so I gotta make sure he's leashed up. Walking around here, it just really reminds me a lot of every tourist town I've ever been to in the United States. Myrtle Beach, Gatlinburg, Daytona Beach, just lots of hotels. And every hotel has a pool and a breakfast area. And mm, we're 
we're back to the beachfront. It's just a tremendous promenade here on the beach. And not too far away out in the bay, you can see Ventus. And here we are, coming back to the boat. Great. Here comes Jax. Jax. He doesn't like this part, but he's okay. Dada, why are we raising the dinghy? Because we're heading out to get our sail. <clears throat> ah, and the coffee. coffee. Wait, Dada, will you raise the dinghy? Shoes. Shoes. Dada, can you raise the dinghy? And last the but not least, the captain. The one-handed, one-toed dinghy raise. Done and done. As well, but we're at the customs docks because we have an option here in Turkey that we're taking it out of the country immediately. We can avoid paying the Turkish VAT if we go through a formality. So hopefully that all goes well. I'm about to meet with the customs agent and the, the sale broker right now. Which the savings is 18 percent. 18 percent. So a lot. So wish me luck. Good luck. So right now we're getting our new sale. We go on the bowsprit. So here we are. We just received the much awaited sail. We've been waiting five weeks for this sail. So we're very excited. We're still doing some customs paperwork over there. But in the meantime, we get a chance to take a look at it. It's got a bag that can clip onto the lifelines so that you can um, prepare it on the deck. And inside, it's red, white, or red, blue, and light blue. The way this works, oh, there it is. You've got the furler and a furling line that attaches locally. We wound up going with the Ubi Meyer furler because basically availability and price. It works better as a package. This is what I saw them rigging up on Friday afternoon. They were getting this tied with just the right tension and they had it spread out on a big machine that split tension from here all the way to the end of the sail so that the tightness for this was just right to the bracket here. So this has got a couple cool features that um, we were sold on, like this pin that can pop free. There you go, that's it right there. So then if you wanted to, you could have the furler and the sail separately mounted. But I think generally we're going to leave the furler on here because uh, we've got the, the shorter furler loop. That Something else that was nice about the Ubi Meyer versus kind of the other brands was that it's all enclosed. This all happens in here. Yeah. A lot of the other ones are open. On the bottom it mounts to our bowsprit that we just had installed with the clip right here. And we got to get it rigged up a little bit. Here's the other end that will go attached to the spinnaker halyard. And that's what we use to pull it up. And then the bag should slide right into one of what we call the garages. But the bag even has like battens in it. That's kind of nice. That is nice. So like we could put it on the deck here and it's much more protected from the sun than if we were to leave it up on the halyard. So we're pretty near set up. Have a few more things to get going before we can actually use it. But uh, for now we're just trying to get the customs all closed out. So very cool. We've got it. Here comes the customs officer now. So mom, what are we doing? We are kind of putting the rigging up. We've got the furler going. Right now we're putting the sheets on. Um, this is also called a code D and we have not seen it unfurled and all designed, so hopefully it will be great. We're now finally heading west. We're on the open ocean at the moment and it's kind of late in the afternoon. We're doing a little bit of trip planning here, looking at our pilot books. So we had never really heard of these until we arrived in Turkey and everyone was acting like, what do you mean you've not heard of these pilot books? They're incredible with the information they have. Um, they're kind of pricey, but totally worth it. So right now we've got our Turkey book and our Greek book out because that's where we're gonna be for the next six weeks. Um, and so we're going through our maps and figuring out just a very rough plan. We don't wanna to get too scheduled, but we know that we need to have some sort of goal in mind. Asher's favorite move in the boat, swinging like a monkey and doing chin-ups. One of my other swinging 
That way, so look at the wind, uh, look at the angle. Mm -hmm. So, if we're at 35 degrees right now, we're gonna make a 90 degree turn. We should be at 16. No, 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 um, 125, but 30 up to zero over to 60. Yeah, that's just a turn to the We're turning, is, yeah, we're turning. The wind is coming from there. Okay. So we have to turn. I am totally being schooled by my 10 year old on wind angles. wind angles because it just doesn't make sense to my brain. All right, ready for a starboard turn? I'm ready. All right, here, here we go. go. I'm going to pop it. Okay, there here we switch. go, Sophia. There it goes. Oh, it's so pretty. So cool. Sophia, are you letting that line out? I need more line. It's not going. Wow, I think it's so hard to come out. It's not enough wind. You know what? Give us uh, back off the throttle now. Go to neutral. There we Nick, go. Wait a second. There Nick, we go. Hey Nick, look over here. Do I need to go port or starboard for this? Uh, turn towards Simi more. Oh, that thing is beautiful. <gasps> Whose design did we pick? Dad. Daddy's. Oh my goodness. We should oh, put out. Oh, that's so beautiful. Can we put out the jib sheet? No, oh. no, only it's one or the other. Okay. Can we turn off the engine? Let's pick a line. Hold on. We're going to pick a line, set the auto. We're going to trim. It's like we're we flying a balloon here. Um, we got to tidy that line up, make sure that it doesn't end up in the sea. We still got we still got some trim to do. I got to figure out how to trim for this thing. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. So I good. love the colors. Sailing. Uh, We're like getting five knots out of seven. How about that? I don't know if the camera can record the awesomeness of the size of this sail. The oh, Whoa, thunder that behind is, us. Wait, is that warships? No, that's thunder. Is uh -oh. that warship? Turning into the wind. We have six. 4.8 knots, and we are making 4.8. This huge parachute is just ballooning the wind. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. We, we have never seen this kind of, I mean, 7.2 knots and getting five knots of speed. We just don't see that. Oh, I'm telling you, under 10 knots, this thing is gonna save our engines the cost of the sail in diesel over our usage. Um, I don't know about this. this. It will. This sail was very expensive. Along with the bowsprit to hold well, it. Well, the sail was not very expensive. The bowsprit, the furler, and the sail combined were very expensive. The sail setup was very expensive. Yeah. Oh, please don't let us tear it. 25, uh, it's at 130 degrees. So we want to make sure that we're staying at around 130 degrees. And then our speed. And then, then we're watching for land. So we watch that map. Very calm day, but we're moving well. Altogether, we have probably 70 meters squared of sail up. 